struggling with lag and low FPS on your low-end PC in CS2, don't worry, I've got the ultimate fixes for you. In this video, I'll show you the best settings and tweaks to squeeze every bit of performance out of your system, making CS2 run smoother and more playable. Stick around till the end for the best results. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. Now let's get started and boost your FPS. Frustrated with lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. So guys, in the first step, we will adjust some crucial settings within Steam and CS2's installation folder to ensure maximum performance and a smoother gaming experience. In the first step, open Steam, head over to your game library and find Counter-Strike 2. Right-click on the game, select Properties, and then click on Browse to open its installation folder. Once inside, navigate to the bin directory and then open the Win64 folder. Here, locate the game's executable file, right-click on it, and choose Properties from the context menu. Next, switch to the Compatibility tab. Check the box labeled Disable Full Screen Optimizations to prevent Windows from interfering with the game's performance. After that, click on Change High DPI Settings, enable the relevant checkbox, and apply the settings. Confirm the changes by clicking OK. These steps help ensure a smoother gameplay experience by reducing potential performance hiccups. For additional optimization, tweak some settings within Steam itself. Go to Settings and click on it. Now in the Friends and Chat section, disable animated avatars, as these can consume unnecessary system resources. Next, move to the Interface tab and turn off options like Smooth Scrolling, GPU Accelerated Rendering and Hardware Video Decoding, as these can contribute to increased CPU and GPU load. Now, navigate to the Library tab and make sure to enable the first three options. While these changes may seem small, they can significantly enhance Steam's responsiveness, especially on lower-end systems. Once you've applied all the changes, don't forget to restart Steam to ensure the optimizations take effect. Now guys, in the next step, we will adjust some key window settings to maximize FPS and ensure CS2 runs as smoothly as possible. Start by opening Windows settings and searching for game mode. Once found, make sure to turn it on. This feature is designed to enhance gaming performance by prioritizing CS2 and minimizing unnecessary background processes that could lower your FPS. Next, navigate to Graphics Settings and enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This option allows your GPU to handle specific processing tasks instead of relying on the CPU, resulting in better overall performance, especially in resource-intensive games like CS2. Now it's time to optimize CS2 specifically for improved performance. While still in Graphics Settings, select Desktop App, then click Browse to locate the game's executable .exe file. To find it, navigate to the game's installation folder, which is typically located in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike 2, Game, Bin, Win64, and select CS2 EXE file. This method works for other games as well. Simply locate their respective .exe file. Once CS2 is added to the list, click on Options, select High Performance, and then hit Save to ensure that CS2 is always given priority when running. That's it. With these optimizations in place, CS2 will now run more efficiently, providing higher FPS and a smoother overall gameplay experience. Now guys, the next step is to download the CS2 FPS Boost Pack onto your PC. You can easily grab it from my website. The download link is available in the description. This pack is completely safe and virus-free, but if you have any concerns, feel free to scan it with any trusted antivirus tool or online scanner before using it. Once you've downloaded and extracted the pack, open the Registry Optimization folder. Inside, you'll find several registry files. Install all of them one by one. These registry tweaks help prioritize your system for gaming, ensuring better responsiveness and smoother performance. After applying the registry optimizations, locate the PC Manager executable file in the pack. Double-click it to begin the installation process. Once installed, launch PC Manager and you'll be greeted by its main interface. First, navigate to the Home tab. Here, you'll see the PC Boost option. Click on the Boost button. This feature will clean up junk files, helping free up system resources for better performance. Next, move to the Protection section. 
Run a quick scan to detect and remove any viruses or threats, ensuring your system stays secure. Then head over to the storage section. Click on the scan button to perform a deep scan of your hard drive. This will identify and remove unnecessary files, freeing up valuable storage space. Once you've completed these steps, simply close PC Manager. Your system will now be running in an optimized state. Now let's optimize your RAM usage by installing Memreduct. Once installed, open the program. You'll see a window displaying your current RAM usage in real time. At the bottom, you'll find a button labeled Clear Memory. Click this button to instantly free up unused RAM, reducing memory usage and improving system responsiveness. If you're running memory intensive applications or notice your PC slowing down, you can use this feature multiple times to maintain peak performance without needing to restart your computer. To fully unlock your CPU's potential, install the Park Control application. This tool allows you to fine tune power settings, ensuring your processor runs at its maximum efficiency. Open the program and scroll down to the performance mode selection. Choose Bitsum Highest Performance for the best results. Now, tweak the following settings. Turn off Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. Adjust each of these values to 100%, ensuring your CPU always operates at full capacity. Next, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost, a smart feature that dynamically manages CPU threads. It automatically disables unused threads when performing light tasks like web browsing, but reactivates all threads when running demanding applications, ensuring maximum power when needed. Finally, navigate to the Power Options section and confirm that Bitsum Highest Performance is selected. This setting keeps your CPU running at its peak performance mode, leading to higher FPS in games and smoother multitasking. Before closing Park Control, double-check that all settings are set to 100%. Once verified, click on Make Active, then hit Apply to finalize your changes. These tweaks will allow your CPU to function at its full potential, ensuring a smoother gaming experience and faster overall system performance. Disabling Xbox-related services helps free up valuable system resources, ensuring that both your CPU and memory are fully dedicated to gaming. This can lead to improved performance and reduced lag, especially in resource-intensive games like CS2. To disable these services, launch Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting Task Manager. Once open, navigate to the Services tab and look for Xbox-related services such as Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox JIP, SVC, and Xbox Net. If you don't use any Xbox features, simply right-click on each service and select Stop to disable them. This will free up system resources, allowing your PC to allocate more power to gaming and other essential tasks. If you use the Xbox Game Bar for screen recording, consider turning it off to further enhance performance. Now guys, in the next step, we will fine tune the advanced video settings in CS2 to improve visibility, reduce input lag, and maximize FPS for the best possible performance. Start by setting your aspect ratio to 4-3, which is a popular choice among competitive gamers. This aspect ratio slightly stretches player models, making enemies appear wider and easier to hit. It also helps reduce distractions by narrowing the field of view, allowing you to focus more on your target. While 4.3 may introduce black bars on widescreen monitors, it provides a classic, performance-focused gaming experience preferred by many pro players. Next, set your resolution to 1280x900. This resolution provides a good balance between performance and visual clarity, making the game look sharp and smooth while reducing the strain on your system. Running the game at 12 80 plus 900 helps maintain clearer textures and better visibility, preventing excessive blurriness or pixelation. With these display settings optimized, you'll experience a smoother, more responsive gaming experience, allowing for better precision, faster reactions, and improved overall clarity in every match. In the advanced video settings, making the right adjustments is crucial for low-end PCs to achieve smooth gameplay and better FPS while maintaining decent visuals. Start by enabling Boost Player Contrast. This setting enhances enemy visibility, making them stand out more in fast-paced fights. Next, disable Vertical Sync to eliminate input lag. Turning this off ensures faster frame processing, giving you quicker response times, which is critical for precise aiming. For better system responsiveness, enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency 
and set it to enabled instead of plus boost to avoid extra GPU load. This setting will still help reduce input lag without overburdening your system. Now adjust multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode, turn it off completely to maximize FPS. Anti-aliasing smooths out jagged edges, but on low-end PCs, it significantly reduces performance, so disabling it is the best option. Shadows and textures can heavily impact FPS, so optimizing these settings is essential. Set global shadow quality to very low to reduce GPU usage and boost FPS. For dynamic shadows, turn it off completely to eliminate unnecessary rendering. Lowering shadows can greatly improve performance without affecting enemy visibility too much. For modeling texture details, set it to low to free up system resources. This will slightly reduce texture quality, but provide a much needed FPS boost. Adjust texture filtering mode to bilinear instead of 16x. This will keep textures readable while reducing GPU load. Set shadow detail to low or very low to minimize extra processing. To prevent unnecessary FPS drops, lower particle detail to very low. Effects like smoke and explosions can severely impact FPS on low-end PCs, so reducing their detail will keep performance stable. Set ambient occlusion to disabled. This feature enhances lighting effects, but is GPU intensive and unnecessary for performance-focused gameplay. Lastly, turn off High Dynamic Range HDR. While HDR enhances visuals, it greatly impacts performance on lower-end hardware, so disabling it is the best choice. By applying these optimizations, your low-end PC will run CS2 much more smoothly, improving responsiveness, stability, and overall FPS while keeping the game playable at competitive levels. So guys, that wraps up today's video. If you found these tweaks helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome CS2 content. Got questions or need help? Drop a comment below, I'll be happy to help. See you in the next one. Peace out.